And Carl, should we really drink eight cups of water a day? Ah, yeah, that one. In the USA, they call this particular myth eight by eight. And the first eight is the number of cups per day. And the second eight is the volume, eight ounces. And when you turn that into metric, you get two litres of water per day. Every workplace has one. That person who was terrified to let their personalised design of water bottle out of sight for fear they may dry up and turn to dust on the spot. Mate, look, the truth of it is that it's a myth. OK, firstly, there's a scientific journal called the American Journal of Physiology, then a dash, Regulatory, Integrative and Comparative Physiology. It's an awesome read. Right, now they had a paper which has an equally long title and the title of the paper is Drink at least eight glasses of water a day, question mark. Really, question mark. Is there evidence for eight by eight, question mark? And that is the title of the paper. If there was any room left in the paper, did it actually say anything? Yes, it said that there is zero, nil, nyada scientific evidence for it. They couldn't find it being referred to anywhere in the world in the medical literature. It's only been referred to in the non-medical literature, never in a medical journal. It, it doesn't hurt to drink two litres of water. Oh, no, 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 it's fine. Yeah, you, you need water. But don't forget the so-called embedded water in food. And I'm not just talking about the crystallised stuff like celery and watermelon, but even fat. Fat is made of atoms of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. And when one gram of fat is broken down, it actually generates more than a gram of water.